time's moving on. I've been thinking, oh, this is going to be a week of pain, two weeks of discomfort, and then a lifetime of a new me. I would admit, I am a little overwhelmed. <laughs> Trying to shop for the two weeks post-surgery liquid only. There's a lot to learn. There's a hell of a lot to learn. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's now 5.30, uh, ready to go. And yeah, just leaving to go to the hospital now. So I'll check in when I'm there and wish me luck. Bye. This is it, in the hospital getting ready to go down. Um, the nurses will be here in about 15 minutes. That's when shit gets real. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really scared now. Um, the, the apprehension just kicked in full time. I, um, I hardly slept last night. Um, waking up thinking am I doing the right thing I'm yeah, even even up to five o'clock this morning knowing the check-in was at six I was wondering should I really be going through with this but I do I do have to go through with this I know I have to go through with this I have I have no other option well the other option is to fail and I don't want to fail I've been failing for so long that I need to make sure that the, the rest of the life that I have is a good life. So, yeah. Time's moving on. I've been thinking, though, this is going to be a week of pain, two weeks of discomfort, and then a lifetime of a new me. So, that's it. The operation is done. I was really scared going in, um, but it went really well. Um, didn't wake up in as much pain as I thought I would. There's the when when you have the keyhole surgery, the have it done laparoscopically. <laughs> they fill you up with air and gas to to give them working room inside you, and it's the discomfort of having that gas inside. Um, it can push up on your diaphragm, um, but it does make you fart a lot. I, 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 yeah, I, I woke myself up farting in the hospital. So that's, that's delightful. <laughs> um, having to wear loose fitting clothes, the, taking, the, um, taking a car, going over bumps, horrible it's really horrible but I have stopped all my insulin uh, my glucose is going all over the place and staying hydrated is is hard work as well because I, I've always been such a chugger when I drink that having to take little sips but it also means that I when I take my medication now it takes forever because it's, it's one tablet and that's it I don't want to have it in a sip, but you have to leave a, a, a minute or two between sips. You can't just keep sipping like this. There's no tomorrow. Um, but I'm having to learn the new body signals. I'm having to learn what the different feelings mean. Um, how... I, uh, it's, it's only two days post-op, but it's sort of like never being hungry but knowing you have to have something in your stomach, getting protein in. Um, and I'd be very tired. That is, it's been making me very tired as well. But again, second day. So I've been, I've always been looking years ahead to like retirement and the motorhome and what that life is gonna look like. But now I have to start looking just hours ahead and it's gonna be I have to start looking 
uh, that's sort of like the, the, the one week of learning the new signals, two weeks of learning the new eating regime, and then having getting on with life after that. The, the body signals are strange. <laughs> it feels like sometimes everything is just shifting itself around to find their new normal. Um, what else? Yeah, they say dehydration and low, glu low glucose have been an issue. I've been feeling very clumsy and disorientated. You can probably notice that from from this today. Um, I forgot to get the letter that signs me off of work. Um, and one interesting thing I noticed is I wanted to do some before and after pictures. There's no pictures of me when I was at my heaviest. So, yeah, it's interesting. It uh, brings it into brings it to attention just how much you do hide. You, I say that society makes makes you invisible. We make ourselves invisible as well. Yeah. So yeah, I've got to say lots to learn for this. Oh, I did buy something though that I'm very excited to try out. But this is for when I do my next stage, which is when we start to bring other foods in. And it's called an intelligent scale. So what you do is you have an app on your phone and then you zap the, the barcode or whatever, or you put whatever you're eating in. So if it's, if it's chicken or something like that, you'll put that into the app. And then when you weigh it, it will break down everything, all the proteins, all the fiber, all the sugar, all the calories. So it does it for you based on sort of the total weight that, that the, 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 the package or whatever, that the, 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 tin, the tin of soup or whatever, whatever the total weight of that is versus what you eat, it will, it will, it will break it down so that you don't have to do any mental math to say, well, I've only eaten a hundred milliliters of this 400 milliliter thing how much do i break down the protein into so yeah i'm looking forward to trying that um i just really don't have much else to 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 um report at this point but uh i will keep my mind working and bring hopefully i'll be much more aware <laughs> when I get back to you next time, but I did just want to jump in and let everybody know how things went. So I will talk to you next week. Take care, everyone. If you could like and subscribe, that would really help me out. Okay, take care. Bye.